I've seen people getting millions of views and thousands of subscribers on YouTube Shorts, so I challenged myself to get at least 1 million views on YouTube Shorts in the first 30 days. But because my time was limited, I didn't want to waste time by uploading tens of shorts only for one of them to succeed. I need to find a formula to go viral in a short time. I will come back soon. I am back with the formula. The first step of this formula is to find a niche. Let's talk about choosing the right niche. Niche down. I needed to choose a niche topic for my YouTube automation channel, which is the most important initial step. As you heard thousands of times, but it is true. Believe it or not, this was a complete accident for me. But if that accident didn't happen, I wouldn't be making this video. Man, what a day it was. Let me rest a bit. What will happen over the next 100 What is popular on YouTube right now? This is what happens when you join a racist Zoom class. The year did America gain its independence from this country? Say at the same time, guys. Three, two, one, right? Seven. Three, Go. two, one, seventeen, seventy-six. <laughs> wow, nice channel. Wait, this guy has millions of views on almost every short? Yeah, I accidentally clicked on this channel while I was scrolling on my PC. Don't judge me for that, and it was the first reason why I wanted to start my shorts channel. I don't say that you should accidentally find your niche. Not at all. So here are the ways how you can find a niche. Few big niches are the root of all niches. Those are money, health, love, business, entertainment, etc. What you need to do is to find sub-niches of these bigger niches. That way, you have a more loyal audience that loves watching every short you post. For example, if you have a channel about animals, instead of talking about every animal, Animal, you can talk only about pets or to go even deeper talking only about dogs don't worry i love cats too this is just an example first you can start with what you love being part of your audience is the best thing you can do if you are starting because you will notice trends faster and you will know better what people like you want to watch next there are two things I always consider when I'm choosing a niche. Competition and engagement rate. I started digging for more channels like this and I found none. This was a golden mine. But wait, we are not done yet. I need to check the engagement rate. Officer algorithm. Is everything good right there? Officer PM, everything is good on my side. Officer vid IQ, what do you say? Let me check. I'll go to the keywords tab and type beta squad. I see that the search volume is very high and that is enough for me. Everything looks good. But Officer PM, did you tell them about the good news? I will in a moment. Now you can get vidIQ Boost Plan for just $1 in the first month if you use my link in the description. I use vidIQ daily for myself, so I made this deal with vidIQ so you can try it on your own. The next part of the formula is the editing. Add emojis or images popping every couple of seconds to maintain the attention of the audience. But please don't overdo it. Nobody wants subtitles of emojis, jump cuts, and pattern interrupts. It might sound complicated, but it is not. Those are visual changes that refocus the viewer's attention. It means that you need to add zooms and movements to your shorts. For example, if someone is laughing, I would add zoom every time they laugh. AJ, get out, man. I'm gonna get out of the phone. You get the point. Wait, I almost forgot. Do not make sound effects too loud. Sorry for that. It is a pain in the ears and viewers will scroll away. Officer PM, I must say it is a good formula. Thank you, Mr. Algorithm. Growth will be easy with this formula. How do you know? You haven't even tried it. Wait, I have uploaded shorts daily for almost two weeks now, and still, I get only a few K views per short? How is that possible? The algorithm really hates me. YouTube shorts are sh People were right. I am wasting my time. I f quit. I don't care. I will delete all the shorts I have posted. This was just a waste of time. Wait, this short now has 90K views? Well, 90K is better than 5K. And these were my exact thoughts. I didn't care much until five days later, results became even better. I randomly checked the analytics and saw that the same short with 90k views now had over 600k views. I was on top of the world. Real-time views just couldn't stop. I posted one more short on the same day, and this short got views even faster. In the first three days, it already had 40k views, and just 10 days later, this short hit 1 million views. So there is a valuable lesson. Do not delete any of your shorts ever. Or never. I don't know. I slept in English classes. Don't mind me. Anyways, 
It takes some time for YouTube Shorts to get views. And the thing is, I wasn't very active on the channel after that. I posted once or twice a month, but the views didn't stop. Do you now realize that I do not hate you, and that you only need to be patient? Yes, Mr. Algorithm. Tell your viewers that the algorithm doesn't hate them. They just need to improve the videos. Now, I couldn't wait to pass the monetization requirements. 10 million views and 1,000 subscribers, which seemed impossible just a few days ago. I almost forgot about it until YouTube sent me an email that I was waiting for. As the email says, I was eligible for the monetization, which means I have passed the requirements. The limit for that was 8 million, but right now, the limit is even lower, so you can monetize with the Super Chats and membership with only 500 subscribers and 3 million shorts views. For ads monetization, you still need 10 million views. However, I still didn't pass the ads monetization requirements. This was for channel supers and memberships. I applied, and now I was waiting for their decision. Hi, Beta Squad Shorts. Thank you for applying to join the YouTube Partner Program. We carefully reviewed your channel, Beta Squad Shorts. Unfortunately, we found that your channel is not in line with the YouTube channel monetization policies, so we cannot approve your application at this time. Wow, all this work for nothing? Wait, how can I fix this? Oh, it is right here. Go to the Earn page in Studio to read more about the specific policy issues and learn about the next steps. All right, let's see what it says. Reused content? Man, this sucks, but I can't give up. I need to change my formula. All right, let's change the formula. We need to add commentary on the shorts, so let's add script and voiceover to the formula. For the script, we need a strong hook. That can be a question or a bold statement. I will choose the question hook for this script. It depends on your short, so be creative with it. Now I will go through the video part that will be included in the short, and on the important parts, I will add something like, No way you can do that, Sharky. The best thing to put here is something you think the audience will relate to. Sharky is crazy for this. Now, when you finish the script, let's hop on the voiceover. You can use your beautiful voice to narrate the script, or you can use AI. I will choose the second option because, um, my voice isn't the right fit for narration. The AI that I will be using is called Eleven Labs. It is the same AI that I use to create voiceovers for the videos on this channel. To make sure that you have the best voiceover possible for shorts, put stability between 40 and 55%. Now, when you want to emphasize something, put those words in caps lock, and the voiceover will say them louder. Also, make sure that you put a comma where you want to make a little pause in the voiceover. Now, we need to update the editing part of the formula. You need to cut all of the boring moments from the video because you need to fit it in only 60 seconds with all the narrations. For example, I started the editing of this short with a video of 3 minutes and I finished with exactly 58 seconds. Perfect. If you don't find your short funny enough and entertaining enough, go back to it and change everything you think is worth changing. However, don't stress yourself if this is the first time you are creating a short. You will get better at it. Practice doesn't make you perfect, it makes you better. If you chase perfection on YouTube, you will wait forever. Good rhyme, isn't it? All right, I will post this short now, and let's see how it will perform with the new formula. A few days passed, let's see the results. 12.2K views. You are probably disappointed and are ready to leave, but don't. Let me tell you something. How good this strategy works, you can see in retention, which is seven seconds more than usual. It just wasn't shown to enough people to have millions of views. That requires time. Right now on the channel, I have a total of almost 11 million views, over 100,000 watch hours, and over 6,000 subscribers, which means that I have passed the requirements for the ads monetization. The most views I've got on the channel in one day was 325K, and you can notice these ups and downs when some of the shorts go viral. It would have been much more stable, but I was very inactive on the channel, and I barely posted. However, before reapplying for monetization, I will have to delete all of the other shorts because they had no commentary on them, and there are 23 of them that I need to delete. It is not worth it, so I started a new channel using this same strategy, but in a different niche and the strategy was proven once again. If you are really serious about YouTube and want to grow faster, then check the link in the description. I can help you do that. Starting from January 4th, reserve your spot because they are limited. Anyways, you can watch this video right here to see how I built another shorts channel, but in a sports niche.